My name is Michael Lloyd. I first went to sea on a training ship at the age of 13. Then I was at sea at uh, 16 on ships, and I never came off them. I was there for the next 50 years. I've written a pile of books, about 19, six novels, um, one of them about cruise ships. And I wrote that book because I was so um, uh, concerned about what was going on on the modern cruise ship. What is the biggest problem with the cruise industry? Think of how many crew are on board. Then think of how many passengers. Now you take these new ones, I think we've got 7,000 passengers on board. Then go and have a look and count the lifeboats. Remember the Titanic, chums? Wasn't enough lifeboats, was there? Well, I tell you a little trick too. There's not enough lifeboats on the cruise ships today. Because what they do is they substitute life rafts. Now those life rafts are meant to make up for 25% of the people on board. And they have to get in those. Then you're assigned a lifeboat, which is hilarious. Can you imagine 7,000 people all trying to sort out which boat to get in? I know what I'd do, grab the first one. On the Costa Concordia, when she went down, all the crew were assigned to the life rafts. Only two life rafts were launched. What did the crew do? Well, they took the passenger places and they left a thousand passengers on board the ship. Think of that when you next go cruising. One angle of safety on board. The other action on safety I would call is the crew bar. You think of the crew bar, which is jumping, and believe me, it is jumping at night. And in the bar, what? Well, the security officers there as well, and even the officers of the ship. And they're all getting absolutely rat -assed. Anything happens that night on board that ship, what good are they going to be? So why are these crew bars allowed on a ship when everybody is supposed to be at 24 hours readiness? Life jackets, you can't use them. You can't jump in the water from more than 15 feet. Because if you do that, you've got a chance of breaking your neck. Now, this fact is well known in the industry. IMO know all about it. You should be having full instruction about how to jump into the water on keeping your arms crossed in front here. It's not nice, you see, to tell the guests that they might actually have to use a life jacket to get off a sinking ship. Oh dear, that'll spoil the cruise, won't it?